Welcome to Off Grid Victory. So today I wanted to talk to you about the importance of um, storing your five gallon buckets with bulk foods um, in a way to kind of maximize the storage area and the footprint of um, all your dry goods that you're storing. So I'm here in my uh, shipping containers, one of my shipping containers, and I wanted to show you some of the foods that, um, that are in here. Now, um, the main thing about stacking these five gallon buckets is they are made out of PVC and inherently um, they're not super duper strong. So if you, let's say, uh, stacked more than, uh, I would say, uh, three of these buckets high, uh, you could potentially crack the lids of the individual PVC buckets, especially on, towards the bottom. And of course, just, uh, you know, the, uh, the odd uh, weight shift and um, if you were to try to um, take these on and off uh, quickly sometimes you might break the lid or uh, crack one of the corners etc so what you really want to do when you're stacking these um, uh, five gallon buckets is use a um, a platform like this now this is a the minimum I would recommend this is a about uh, three eighths inch wide. It's um, it's plywood, not uh, pulp wood. So a little bit more rigid, and uh, it'll hold its shape. Now this whole piece right here, um, what I'm do, what I did to kind of maximize my square footage and to be able to stack these as high as I can in my shipping container, uh, I cut these uh, four foot by eight foot pieces of um, material and uh, I ripped them in half. So these are 24 inch wide or two feet by eight feet long. Now what that enables me to do is fit perfectly uh, one row of eight um, five gallon buckets, um, uh, one row here and another row behind here, if you can see it right there. And so the base of this thing is 16 buckets wide um, or 16 buckets can fit in there, uh, eight buckets wide, two buckets deep. So what that enables me to do is go up vertically. And I'll show you the rest of this in a bit, but I want to talk to you a little bit further about the types of five gallon buckets too. So this is um, a bulk foods, uh, you know, uh, prepping kind of food storage company that I've been buying for years. I, I recommend them. They have good quality stuff. And uh, what I wanted to show you is uh, some of the buckets that I did. Um, the other thing is, yeah, you want to put some labels on your your uh, can cans and uh, make sure that you have a date when you process it so you can rotate the stock. But what I wanted to show you with uh, these buckets, the Lowe's buckets, they're a little tiny bit wider. So you see there's some gapage right there. But otherwise, if you use the emergency essentials type of buckets or normal five, uh, five gallon buckets, they'll fit perfectly. But um, yeah, I might address this. I might not. It doesn't matter. Maybe with the spacer or um, a, a shim. But with this method, what you can do is stack pretty darn high. So I'm in my shipping container here. Let me back up a little bit and show you. Um, I have these buckets all the way up to there. Now I have about, oh, uh, I have about six going down, or let's say I have five completely done. So the other thing you want to be really concerned, um, you should also be cognizant of, is the amount of weight you put on your floor. And so what's really important is know what's underneath your subfloor. In this case, I'm in a shipping container, right? So uh, I know that this shipping container can uh, roughly hold about 62,000 pounds, but just let's just make the math easy and say each one of these buckets, um, let's just call them about 40 pounds each. And so if I have one, two, three, four, five and I actually have six on the back end high um, and 40 uh, let's just say it's a uh, 16 by four um, so uh, 16 by four and then another five up let's say so I'm in probably excess of about three thousand pounds just on this on this one side and so you want to be cognizant about the weight that you put uh, on your um, on your subfloor so know what's underneath in this case it's a shipping container so obviously it's not uh, such a bad 
bad thing to have this much weight um, on one side. And the other thing about this is now uh, it gives me room in between here, let me show you, uh, where uh, I can put more uh, containers up and I have this free space in the middle to work with too so I can go in between and see what I have and what I'm working with. So yes, uh, when you go and uh, stack your uh, buckets, be mindful of um, of having this kind of um, well, I would I would say support or a way to kind of distribute the weight of each one of these buckets to go out um, and give you extra stability because um, this will hold all of this weight and it's not going to crack any of my uh, buckets here. But if you were to stack oh, like I said, three or more of these buckets high you'll definitely crack the lid, especially on the bottom. So just be mindful of that and uh, use this method. And uh, yeah, you'll be able to store a lot of food uh, and put it away nice and tidy uh, so that you'll have uh, food for a very long time. And uh, like I said, with the, with the Lowe's or the Home Depot baggage, you're gonna have a little bit of space here. It's not gonna perfectly fit, but if you use normal, normal things like um, these uh, emergency essentials buckets, um, they're gonna they're gonna fit really really nicely. So um, that's a little uh, uh, trick and um, I guess the advice I have for uh, storing uh, foods. Uh, the uh, the other thing the other caveat about caveat about st storing your food here in a shipping container is be mindful about where your shipping container is. Um, in my case, I have it under shade. Uh, I mean, it's not ideal to have it have your food in heat. But hey, we live off grid, we do the best we can. And so you wanna be able to um, keep uh, your foods off the back walls or the side walls, whatever you may have. Um, just be mindful of that so that you don't have direct um, uh, conduction of heat into your, uh, into your food. So um, do that and uh, yeah, you'll be able to store a bunch of food away, uh, as you can see here, and uh, stack it quite high. Um, and so, yeah, you'll be able to save a lot of space and uh, you'll have a, a good food supply of bulk foods. Alrighty, shalom.